is up everyone this is Elitic Boxer and today I'm going to be doing a review and demo of the uh, Samsung TWJ5500 sound tower. Now I just want to start by saying that this isn't exactly the best um, display I have it right now but I'm still going to show you everything it's not going to make a difference what you see. So um, first I just want to tell you that this is um, it's Samsung their sound towers um, you get two of them in the package it was about 200 250 depending on where you get it from I got it from Amazon. Um, they're 2.2 channel and I have one the back, one the front just so you could see the difference and of course I'll move the camera around so you could see it um, but just so you know 2.2 channel meaning two speakers to uh, subwoofers um, including and the subwoofers are six inches um, but they are built into the speaker so right there that's the subwoofer and then this is the speaker but on the top you have what's called a horn tweeter which helps to um, spread out the audio so that way you could hear it over a larger area which is similar to what is used in microphones so um, it could be heard in a larger area instead of just like directly in one direction so um, so I'm just gonna start off by saying that those are the sound towers and then right here you got what comes in the package so right here you're going to have an aux auxiliary cable this is for left and right audio, although I strongly recommend you either use a digital optical cable, which is what I use, or use an HDMI cable. Both the HDMI and the digital optical are not included. You have to buy them separate, but they're only like five, ten bucks. So um besides that, you're gonna have the remote, you're gonna have a quick start guide, and then the full um, directions. This is the remote. Got a bunch of options. Uh, right here is a ferrite core. Now, what you, this is, what you do is you're gonna in the directions it shows you to put the the radio wire in here a few times and wrap it around. That's to help with uh, signal interference because you could get the radio on this thing. What are the cables it comes with? is a FM antenna so you're just gonna plug this in on this piece I'm gonna plug that in in the back of the sound tower which I'll show you in a sec and this is the antenna the end um, so of course you could get this thing you could do Bluetooth you could do Samsung's TV sound connect there is no HDMI connection whatsoever and again I'll show you the, uh, the back of the sound tower so you can see what I mean by the connections also um, just so you know you have an, uh, the power cord and then you have the extender so just in case um, that from the outlet won't reach the sound tower you're just gonna plug this in here and got an extension and then also this um, is attached to the uh, one of the sound towers and this is what goes in this is what connects us to sound towers um, that way you have the audio going from, uh, let me just adjust the camera so you can see. Alright, so, um, as you can see, you've got all of these uh, connections. Now, this goes, is from the... The uh, other sound tower, and this gets plugged in here and here. One for the speaker, the other for the subwoofer, because your inputs from your um, TV, receiver, whatever it is, they go in this one, and then those plugs go here, and uh, that information gets sent to the other sound tower. So this is the sound tower you connect your main stuff to. So, um, like I said, you have auxiliary, right, left. This is for the antenna. This is the digital optical input, um, which looks like that, if you're not familiar on that. And then you also, this one is only for service, so you don't use this, like if this is broken, you send it in somewhere, they'll, they're will they going to use this one. This is auxiliary input, um, this is uh, like the 3.5 millimeter jack, I believe. And this is to, um, like if you're listening to headphones, something like that. Or, I mean, you don't have to listen to headphones. It could, that could be your connection from your TV to your sound system. But, I mean, it's up to you. Um, on this specific one, you do have these little latches. One and two, just to hold the plugs going straight down. 
just in case you're um, interested in the dimensions of this thing. Um, this is called the main unit, and this is set called the speed, uh, and this is called the speaker and the uh, directions. This is 32 pounds. This is 29. Both of them are 7.95 inches wide, so that's this way, by 38.86, 38.6 inches tall, by 11.6 inches deep. So if you want to round it, 8 by 39 by 12. Alright, so that's that. So on the front of the speakers, um, they are a little different, so I'm just going to turn this around. So on the top right here, you're going to have the horn tweeter. Um, this is the main unit. So if you're going to see, you're going to have all of these controls: uh, power, input, rewind, stop, play. That one's record, I believe. And then that one's uh, volume down and up. And uh, you also, and later in the video, I'll be showing these things on comparison to just my uh, TV speakers. And you'll see the this go on. It goes on right here, a little display. And it's uh, pretty nice. And again, for $200, these are pretty nice speakers, that's for sure. Um, all right, so right here, this is the... Um, your speaker where the uh, normal audio comes out. Um, although you hear from here, it's you largely hear from up top here. This is what displays it. Of course, you do hear some uh, lower frequency sounds audio from this. But this is a subwoofer. This is where the this is where the bass comes. And right here, you have the hole for the air intake for the uh, subwoofer. That's mostly it for this. Um, now, I just want to point out that I called Samsung because the whole point of me getting this was if you see my other videos, um, I have a soundbar which looks like that. Uh, it's the HWJ7501 or HWJ7500 if it's black, but mine's silver. It's curved, and I also have my curved TV. Um, the whole point of getting the sound towers, the sound towers for me, was to be able to have my TV um, output the audio through the soundbar and the sound towers. So that way I have a 3.1 um, setup, or technically 3.3 because there are subwoofers in each of these. 3.1 being a center, a left, and a right speaker, as well as a subwoofer. Alright, so in a second I will be showing you what they look like when they're all set up, and uh, then I'll play a demo for you. So I'm showing you what this looks like all around, so I'm just I'm holding the camera freely, just so you can see what it looks like. All right, so from a far distance, that's what they look like. And uh, very shiny, very sleek looking. It looks very nice. Also, when they're um when they're standing up, they are not straight like that. They kind of tilt back a little bit. That's just how they're made. That way the audio gets projected this way and not downwards. And then also, I forgot to mention, there are two USB inputs. Left, uh, input number one and input number two. You could attach a uh, USB flash drive or whatever you'd like to uh, listen to audio from there if you want to. Um, but if you have two USB flash drives, both one in here, one in there, the audio will come from the first one, not the second one. That's just how the default it's set up. Now you can also with this thing, you cannot adjust the treble, you cannot adjust the bass, um, you can't do stuff like that. But what you could do is you could adjust the uh, sound effect. I don't know if you can see that. That's this one right here. You could adjust the sound effect. So if it's like a standard cinema uh, music. Uh, voice clarity, um, there's the mute, Bluetooth, your basic pause, left, right, uh, album, stuff like that, um, and then source. And again, I'll show you all this when it's uh, ready and set up. 
All right, so um, I have them set up. I'm going to be holding the camera like this just because it's going to be easier to show you. But they are set up now. Um, for the record, I have my Samsung TV, my Samsung soundbar, and the subwoofer. But then also the sound towers. Now, if you haven't seen my other videos, my um, that's the HWJ7501 and the UN55JS9000. Those are the serial numbers. But um, I just want to tell you just in case um, you're questioning or just wondering about it. Anyway, so um, the sound towers are set up. I have them on um, uh, absorption pads, so to speak. Um, they're just to help uh, lessen the amount of bass that goes to the second f the floor below me because I'm on the first floor of my house. I'm sorry, the second floor, and I don't want the under me to hear as much. Um, of course, that doesn't help that much because, you know, you're still the sound. But anyway, so they're on that. Now, um, they're facing not a 45-degree angle. They should be, but I don't want a 45-degree angle just because I don't really want that much of a angle. But it's still facing toward me, as you can see, almost point di pointing directly at me. Um, that's the left speaker, that's the right speaker. Uh, so, as you can see, this is what the thing looks like. It's on mute right now, just so I could show you. Um, now, it is a little display. It shows up different things, like if it's connected, uh, volume, it tells you all that stuff. Um, all right, so that's what it looks like. Now, I'm going to be playing, this is the uh, Call of Duty um, World War II multiplayer reveal trailer, the one that was on June 12, 2017. I'm going to play the first, like, three or four seconds of just the TV speakers on, like, almost half of its volume. It's here, 35 or 50. I think it's 35. Um, and then in a few seconds after that, I'm going to turn those things on, and you could hear the difference. I can't play that much of this because of copyright. I don't need that um, copyright. I don't need this video to be copyrighted, so I can't play that much of it. And then I'm going to rewind it um, to the same spot. I'm going to play, and then I'm going to play with my soundbar and my uh, sound tower. Now, just so you know, right now, I'm using a um, digital optical cable. That's how I'm connecting the, um, the audio from my TV to my sound tower. Now, I called up Samsung, and the whole point of this was to get my TV to output the audio from the soundbar and the sound tower. They're like, no, you can't do it. It's just not going to work. It's not keepable. Well, I figured that out. And if you're wondering... Um, if you don't know the Samsung, like One Connect boxes, that's that is basically all the cables that go into the TV goes into that, and then one cable from that goes in the TV, so you have less wires hanging from the back of that. Anyway, so I have an HDMI cable going, an audio return channel, the HDMI arc. It's an HDMI out cable from the TV into the soundbar. And then also, I have a digital optical cable from the soundbar, uh, no, I'm sorry, from the uh, TV to the sound tower. So I have two audio outs, one to the sound bar, one to the sound tower. Um, and like I said, first I'll be doing the TV a few seconds later, I'm going to be doing the sound bar, and then after that I'm going to rewind it to the same spot, and I'll play with the sound bar and the sound tower so you can hear the difference. Alright. Remember, you're not here for the video, so just listen, don't watch. And that's just the TV and back to the sound tower. Alright, so that was the sound the TV and the sound uh, tower. So now we're gonna set it back. Um, put that mute real quick. And it was on 40, my TV volume was on 40. So now we're going to be just connecting. And also for this setup, um, oh, never mind. Yeah, just the TV. All right, so we just need to connect the soundbar. And then uh, it will be playing the soundbar and the sound tower. And for the record, um, actually, no, never mind. 
That's just the sound bar and this is the tower. So that was the demo of it. Um, yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you have any questions, definitely put in the comments section. Now what I was gonna say before is that the sound bar originally is the sound bar, which is that, along with the subwoofer it comes with. Um, they together are $700 originally. So depending on where you get it, you can get it for less. Um, the sound tower, both of them, are $280 um, at like max retail value. Um, but depending on where you get it, and like Amazon, for example, they have a deal, so check them out. Um, and again, the sound bar is the HWJ7501. TV is the UN55JS9000. This is a 55 inch curved smart 4K 3D TV. And that the sound on the sound tower is the uh, TWJ5500, I believe. Um, yeah. So that's it. Uh, any questions, put in the comments section. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I just did this video because some people, they only ha they show you it or they don't show you the whole thing. Like they don't show you front, back, and sides like that. Or they don't show you the best, uh, I don't know, comparison. But anyway, um, definitely subscribe, like, comment, and uh, hope you guys check out the other videos on my TV and soundbar if you haven't already.